here, what looks like an ice dance is in fact the result of full braking on two different road surfaces. However, not only passenger cars but also heavy vehicles perform this kind of dance when the wheels lock while braking on a slippery surface. Why does it happen? When the wheels are braked on different road surfaces, the braking effect is different on each side, causing the vehicle to spin. Locked wheels can no longer be steered. The car keeps skidding straight ahead in spite of full steering lock. This driver too discovers that his frantic turning of the steering wheel is useless. His bus obeys the laws of physics rather than the front wheels. This clearly demonstrates that locked wheels aren't steerable on wet roads either. Truck drivers too receive an unpleasant shock when they turn the steering wheel without any reaction from their vehicle because the wheels are locked. The whole scene again in close-up. The locked wheels are moved from side to side but the vehicle keeps sliding straight ahead until it comes to a standstill. There's only one remedy, the anti-lock system, or ABS. The electronic ABS control system, which acts on all four wheels simultaneously, enables the driver to steer the car, even in varying road surface conditions. And the vehicle is controllable, even when the brakes are applied during cornering. The driver remains in command at all times. The wheels of this test vehicle are braked but without locking them and the bus stays right on course. With Bosch ABS, driving in the winter and on wet roads loses a lot of its hazards. However, not every automatic lock prevention system is an ABS. There are three systems. Their modes of operation and efficiency vary as we're going to demonstrate with this disguise model. without ABS. The wheels lock during braking. In spite of turning the front wheels, the car is unable to follow the bend and skids straight ahead into the obstacle. In this side view, the locked wheels can be clearly seen. System 1, lock prevention for the rear axle only. The chart shows that this system only prevents rear wheel lock. The front wheels are uncontrolled, meaning that they lock and are therefore unsteerable. The conclusion? Even when so equipped, the vehicle cannot take the bend. System 2, the diagonally split system. Here, the front wheels are controlled and then the rear wheels follow. While this does prevent all four wheels locking, the stopping distance increases. We now begin braking sooner, because deceleration needs to start earlier in order to take the corner safely. Despite the increased distance, the driver only just manages to take the corner. System 3, electronic Bosch ABS. The ABS control unit applies the correct braking force to each wheel. The stopping distance decreases. The vehicle comes to a quick and safe stop. Most important, it remains under control. Despite full braking, the driver is able to take the corner and continue. But ABS is not the complete answer. In winter, the right tyres are, of course, also an important factor. Here's a test. Both cars are fitted with ABS, but the left one has summer tyres. Its stopping distance is therefore considerably longer.
Here are a few important tips. ABS permits the vehicle to be steered even during a full braking situation. Even if it breaks away, it can still be steered. Therefore, don't just center the wheel, but steer. In a dangerous situation, jam on the brakes and, if necessary, counter steer. Noise and brake pedal vibration indicate that the ABS has cut in. The ensuing noise and light pedal back pressure are normal, informative and don't adversely affect the car or its brakes. If you have no experience with an ABS, you should practice in open spaces or car parks. You have to know what it feels like when the ABS cuts in. The effect is greatest when the clutch is simultaneously depressed. Small steering corrections are always possible, even while braking. And don't forget, the wheels won't lock. The vehicle can be steered. Even when cornering or on wet surfaces, hit the brakes hard. Emergency braking with ABS will maintain your vehicle stability. Keep braking and steer. The vehicle will obey you. The anti-lock braking system is capable of a great deal, but it cannot outsmart the laws of physics. It is an optimal, technologically advanced system, but it must not be overtaxed by its users. Those who use ABS sensibly, that is, don't change their previous driving habits, will benefit from increased reserves and therefore drive more safely.